Let's remove some background noise. What's happening, everybody? David here. I am doing a super short tutorial on how to do a noise reduction on any piece of audio. So this is used primarily to remove background noise or at least reduce background noise. So if you look at my file here, it doesn't look like there's a ton. But what you can't really see is that there is a little bit. Watch down here. So that's actually kind of high. Uh, so it's kind of a lot more noise than you think. A super simple way to see if you have a lot of background noise. If you switch over into your spectral frequency display, you can see all that noise down here. And this is just kind of a low rumble. It's kind of the air conditioner or room noise, kind of the ambient sound of the room that you're recording in. So I'm going to remove that. And I do that with all of my tracks that I lay down, voiceover, imaging, anything like that. I always remove the background noise to make sure it is the cleanest file possible. Super easy way to do it right here in Adobe Audition CC. You go up to effects, noise reduction restoration you go to noise reduction process what you want to do let's switch back to spectral frequency i'm going to grab a section where not a section like this where there's speech or breath or anything i'm going to grab one of these clean noisy sections just something like that half a second long is all you need maybe even less than that you can use it then i'm going to capture the noise print right here by clicking this button and you'll see it fills in this little graph here where it shows you the actual frequency of the noise that you're picking up and how loud it is. It's super quiet, but it's recorded through my entire track, so I want it gone. Now, there's plenty of presets you can use. I simply use this setup right here. I switch my noise reduction to 89%. You don't want a 100% reduction because then it does sound noticeable that you've removed the background noise. And I'm going to reduce it by 16 dB. Spectral decay rate's kind of important. I like it at 10%, and it works just fine for me. Precision and smoothing, leave those as the factory settings. It'll work. You can mess with your FFT size if you'd like. You don't have to. But if you just follow these settings right here, it works really well. So now that I've captured my noise print, which is this piece of noise right here that's within the entire track, and now I'm going to click Select Entire File. I'm going to click Apply. Now watch over here and it pulls it all out. So now, let's play that same spot back where we played earlier. Nothing. So, now my track is nice and clean, let's listen. I'm recording this test track so I can remove background noise. Let's play it with the noise. I'm recording this test track so I can remove background noise. Now let's play it with the noise gone. I'm recording this test track so I can remove background noise. So it's a little difference like that that makes all the difference whenever you're doing a final project, especially if you're going to mix it with music, because once you start adding all this in, if we leave my background noise in here and then I apply all my effects that I have, now look at this. This is a lot louder, so it picks up when you increase the volume. Whenever you're finishing your project for a client, if you're adding music to it, and this is all space that will get taken up. The more and more you add on to it, the worse and worse it's going to sound the more you increase the volume. So it's a good idea to get rid of it whenever you can. And that's where effects, noise reduction restoration, noise reduction process comes in super easy. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, or if it's not working for you, put them down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Call, text, email. Thanks a lot.